Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. He logged in like it was you. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Awesome. Right. So, okay, it's Tuesday, November 8th, election day. Get out the vote by the time you hear it, you're too late. I'm going to call this department's meeting to order our first order of business. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do you have approval of the minutes? The first minutes are October 28th, general session meeting. I have no wishes with the way they're written. I move to approve it. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And next one is the sealed minutes from 915 and October 28th. Uh, next one I have. So. Again, I wasn't here, but my name is listed as being a voting member of the call. Correct. I move to approve uh, the change. Yeah. Okay, I'll second all those in favor. Aye. 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 Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Absolutely. Yes. Alright, I guess we had some questions. I have one on the Merrill Lake furnace replacement. Is that oil appropriate? It's all that. And we're planning to uh, put another oil furnace in. Okay. And it's tragically dead, but the furnace that is there is out. Chamber. No, it's it's getting harder to find parts for the unit and it's <laughs> it's uh, failing more often than it has been in the past. It's always been a, a tough purpose as far as uh, operational lines as far as it goes. But uh, um, with with if you know, there, there's nothing that is cracked that we've seen in it. It's just getting to the point that it's taking a lot more. And we're trying to keep up with the buildings as we go along and not let some of the major things happen all at once. <laughs> that was my question. On the uh, <clears throat> seal coating and crack board? Yes, sir. Central Park Park. Isn't there a motivation to do that for another department? 
as far as the seal coding and you know, kind of crack building. Uh, I believe that they can crack fill as far as it goes. The way was kind of nickel and cracks in this year. Okay. So. I, I haven't talked with him in reference to it. Um, I think that they may have done something a long, long time ago, um, but we've never, we've, we've always gone ahead and done whatever with our own budget. Yeah, I just, I guess, to bring it to speed on the struggle here, this budget's gone up 20%, so we're looking for some place to move. Yeah. That's a little bit of a and as far as you know, as far as the seal coating and the, the crack filling, it's not uh, going to be an end all as far as that goes. That's more of a, a maintenance thing. But if we could, uh, we could at least get the, the cracks filled. Um, that, that would be terrific. Whether it's us paying the, the road agent side of things or uh, you know their amount. Well, I noticed you've gone up here with a Melbourne Village fire station heat and the Mirror Lake fire station heat. You've increased. Uh, kept the central fire department heat flat. Simply, I think, because we haven't spent just a little over half right. for the year. There will be more coming, but... The, uh, the central fire station heat is propane. Mm -hmm. The others are oil. Right. Where the oil is... Yeah. gone to where? Yeah, we have a lot. Okay. Good. That's the only questions I have. The oil is not... I have something to bring up under um, other property maintenance improvements for it's at the end. It's oh, I just got a bill from William Graham. I guess he does the trash for the town, yes. which I was not aware of when I when I did the numbers for you. Where it says sixty one, we need to add. Hundred fifty dollars to trash to that, so I'm saying sixty two fifty possible. And the same with central fire station um, maintenance. I don't know if you would include it, Graham. Uh, yes. Oh, you did. Yes. Oh, but sorry. if there was a, I thought that he said he was saying the same. So well, it said eight hundred for you. Yeah, and I should have been at eight hundred. Oh, okay. So okay, good. Yeah. Good. So it's only the the. Other property maintenance and improvement, we needed to add that 150, so 6250. Well, we're at 2920 as of uh, November. Um, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but, uh, if we haven't spent that line, what are we not spending it on? Okay, so um, school property mowing and Deerfield. Dearborn mowing has gone up significantly. If you see there, it's 5100 just for the pool, and it's 150 I'm wondering how it's the pool mowing, 5000 I mean, if, if the central station is getting mowed for $1,500, it's just that piece of land. Yeah, it's that whole field. That you know. Field too. Right. That's all part of the budget that we approved you know, for that. the grounds maintenance. So we've already approved the 5100. Well, property. you approved the mowing. Yes, the mowing. And yes. I'm just yes, he, putting the numbers that were in that For the pool property, he mows from the drainage swale all the way to the next property in that right. field. As a lawn or as a field? Uh, no, it's a lawn. It's a lawn. Yes. Yeah. Well, well cared for grass. So anyway, fifty one hundred for that. Dearborn's one fifty, Melvin's eight fifty, and now the trash one fifty. So we have to do that. All right. So we did talk about different lines. Should we go line by line? I think it's a good thing. Thought we'd already done that. Yeah. 
Well, it's changed since we did that. I noticed we made some corrections already. Right. So starting off with town office electric cup at six thousand. Well he changed it changed it at the last one. He's lowering it. It hasn't been voted on, that's why I didn't change it. Right. Town office heat at six thousand. Town office maintenance at six thousand. Town office grounds maintenance at eight thousand. Um, I think you need to think of that again. Um, the I trash is eight hundred, which I didn't have in there before. If Tom Office Grounds made me 9,500. Yeah, but he, he yeah. wants to lower it to be, is what he's saying. Okay. So it's, how much is the trash? 800. So you want to do 88? If you want to be that close. So 9,000. Um, okay. Office and Grounds. Yeah. Office Improvements, 2,000. Townhouse Electric. 900, townhouse heat 3500, townhouse maintenance 800, townhouse outside maintenance 2000, townhouse improvements 500, highway building electric 1800, highway building heat and push them to 5000, highway building maintenance. We lowered that to a thousand. We lowered that to a thousand. You said you wanted to walk it going to do that much work on Library outside maintenance 4500. Fire station improvements. What do you want to do with the furnace? Do you want to leave it in here or do you want to do something else? I think that's a maintenance item. I don't see the reason to do that. Okay, 11650. Fire station electric 2320. Melvin Electric, or no, Melvin Heat is 4,000. Mirror Lake Heat is 5,000. Fire Station Maintenance. Shoot. Okay, how is that different? I mean, we're going to have to put that more on people again next year. I'm not going to put this. $5,300 here for the Marion Fire Station. And then we got the Central Fire Station. No, on another one, fifteen hundred. So fifteen hundred plus. Twelve hundred plus thirty-three hundred. You've been to my house at the moment. No. I have as much more as I can do it here. As far as bowling prices for station bowling for Melbourne and Mirror Lake is $1,100. Okay, what is the fire station maintenance now? That's a bunch of things together. That's No, it's just mowing. It's just mowing. No, I don't you know. I'm only telling you one thing. She's only about. telling you one thing. So yeah. I appreciate that. And that's all I want to talk about. The rest of it, yeah. I know you're yeah. the, the building. The, the mowing is $1,100 for the both stations. The mowing is $3,300. I need a contract. I'm not looking for my two no. substations. Well, oh, if you if you add in the spring cleanups and fall, right, cleanups, exactly. that might bring up a little bit. That's what I'm doing. It's mowing with it's all of his contracts. So with with mine, it's broke down. It's eleven hundred dollars for the the Melvin and Mirror Lake station. That's um, twenty two mowings all together at fifty dollars a piece. Um, they may or may not mow it that many times. So that's eleven mowings for each. Station. So that's eleven hundred dollars, and then two hundred dollars for fall and spring cleanup. Two hundred dollars for the fall. Two hundred dollars for the spring. That's each station. So that's four total for eight hundred dollars. So that gets me to nineteen hundred um, for those two stations. Yeah, the central that. station is all by itself. Why do we mow so much of the fire departments and mow half as much at the cemetery? <laughs> <laughs> Different choices. 
That's up to the cemetery. The cemetery. The cemetery trustees. Because they used to, they, they used to, the cemetery used to look basically like the other. I went there for a funeral and went through, you know, like four or five inch grass that people were making comments about. You know? The cemetery should look at the call block as a fire station. We'll deal with it. What was your final number to the other one? For, for the total? For the two. Uh, I have eleven hundred dollars for the Melbourne and Mirror Lake Station Melbourne, and the cleanups was eight hundred. So that's nineteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Plus fifteen hundred dollars at the central station. And I have no complaints about how the cemetery is being taken care of as far as I go. But you know, it, it's it's all a matter of how people look at it to look. Well, how much you can give up government buildings, I really want to talk about the cemetery. Right. Exactly. Is that yeah. In the purview of what we're But we're just talking yeah. about mowing. So yeah. It will come up today. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you get his new contract before you did your budget? I talked to him personally, as far as numbers was. Because I'm pulling the numbers right off his contract. Just so if, if you have different numbers than what you told me. I'm just plugging in what he told me for, and I say mowing, I should say mowing. I just try to be sure I say that's all for it. Yeah, so station mowing, I have 14. Is that the one the fire station maintenance? Is that all the one the fire station Yeah, each one of them. So there's uh, central station maintenance, and then yeah. there's uh, the Melbourne and Mirror Lake fire station maintenance. They're combined in one now. Yes, yeah, right? Okay, that's what I wanted to know. I have 3,300 for, for your fire station, not counting the central. His thing said 3300 and that was fall the spring and fall and mowing. How much was, was he charging for each mowing for the... I'll have to look. Like I said, I don't have that in front of me to think of it, because it, he would pretty much pay us this. And again, um... I had fifty dollars. Yeah, okay. If I'm if I'm it was forty five. Yeah. So I don't know if it was has it gone up. I'll show you when we get back. Okay. So that could be where we're off as far as I went by your maintenance amount, but I just put a note how much so was this total bit thirty one thousand dollars? Yes. Not counting the shoveling there's an opportunity. If you remember when we first said she made this seven sixteen. Yeah. Ninety mile mowing and electric two thousand. Fire station, central fire station improvements four thousand. Do you want to take $5,600 out of that? I guess the only question I have as far as the crack filling, would I be paying the highway department for that? Oh, that's a good question. The town parking a lot. So did you take that out of the other one too, out of the fire station improvements, or you left it in there? The, the 5600 is for the central station. Oh, okay. Only. Mm -hmm. So that would bring that down to 6657. And we'll recommend 6657 in discussion. So, uh, uh, 
Right, transfer station electric, 5,500. Heat, 4,500. Maintenance, 5,000. Outside maintenance, 3,900. Davis Field Electric, 400. <coughs> Central Park, heat, 3,000. Davis Field Mowing is 6,000. Other property maintenance and improvements, which is exclusively mowing, $6,100 plus $150, so $6,250. Central Fire Electric, net $69. Central Fire Maintenance, $22,998. So I'm coming up with a total for government buildings of $171,291. That's taking out the $5,600 and the crack ceiling and seal coating for well, uh, for adding $150 other property improvements. That's the only two changes that I made. Well, you made 9000 on town office ground maintenance and you went 6000 on the town office electric on 65. Uh, so, I think she's adding it over there on the front. <laughs> so it's $1,000 left. But then you add it by the higher heat, you know, 500 you know, and then you subtract it by the higher heat. So you put it back in the Seal coating is different from crack seal. Yes. And that's something that you can yep. arrange. The crack sealing is the part. If you don't do the crack sealing, you can't do the right. seal coating. That's the yep. central part of the kitchen. Yep. Yep. We came yeah. up with 166,791. Welcome up with great. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. 
Clearly, I'd like that confirmed by somebody else. So we're off by 1150 bucks. Yeah, I got a total. I got 165, 791. So you and I are $1,000. <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing it by hand. I'm good. 165, 641. <laughs> <laughs> if our pencils aren't working, when you have two clocks, nobody knows what time it is. It's day time. So. <laughs> I think you're done with that budget. I got the same thing I got the first time. Would you have on? One sixty one, two ninety one. Two twice in a row. Do you want to look for points on this? No. Sure. The next one is gonna be let's do conservation. Thank you, Al. Thank you. Conservation forty six twelve. Conservation. Uh, he can't come in and see you today. If you want to call him, you're welcome to. So I don't know if you want to go over that now or not. Well, the only change that I can see are changes. Are the timber stand improvements? Which we talked in about. Thank you, Chief. Right. Okay, so I just didn't know if you'd want to talk to them because they added some additional budgets to there that they didn't have before. Right. Timber sand improvements. Yeah. Which we talked to them, which is preparing the plan to move forward on our timber, timber stand management. Well, and the other was it. the Japanese not being parked on the board. There's some invasive species in there. So that's, that's the $4,000 change in there. That's exactly right. Yeah. And that, we did talk to him about it, and I am the representative. That's exactly what has changed. I'd make a motion to approve this budget as it is. Second for discussion. Um, he had $100 for the administrative assistant. It's not shattered. Everything else, everything else is a, it's like a level funded budget. And that's pursuant to the COLA, which. Yeah. Alright, so you move to approve uh, 46 COLA at 22,900. I did. Any other discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Minute, 22 minutes, 6. 22 9. Yeah. Right, 22 um, 000, yeah. Is that your Yeah, but I thought he said 6. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Um, let's get the cemetery out of the way. Cemetery budget. I'll present that. That's a flat budget. I tend to leave it the way it is. As far as any concerns with mowing, we were advised by Blue Ridge Landscape, who is aiding us in the rehab of that cemetery, to mow higher and not as often while their work was in progress. So we're assuming that next year we'll be able to go back to a stricter mowing schedule and keep that looking in better shape. Are they actually doing any work? Yes. So you're saying for 2023, next uh, next season will be mowed more often? Yes. And shorter. 
So, when you're earlier? What yeah. remains to be seen? What does <laughs> bring your concerns to the any concern to the cemetery trustees? Because I can't speak for the whole board, so to speak. Um, any hope of getting a sex club? We don't know. We're leaving it there in hopes. No one seems to be interested at the moment, but I'm still personally pounding on a couple of people, and that's where we stand with that. Bless you. So, they will respect their budget by six hundred bucks. So, there's an explanation for they shouldn't have even overspent it, but the checks from Blue Ridge that were written to them in 2021, they never cashed them and they went out of date. So, we had to reissue them in 2022. So, that really messed up there. Because you can't issue a check. They sat on them because they had started the work. It was supposed to be a retainer. Well, and they failed on that. So, they didn't even spend where it says under cemetery maintenance, mm -hmm. that is way over what they originally thought, but it's because of the checks not being cashed by Blue Ridge. Mm -hmm. We have to be mm -hmm. issued. Mm -hmm. We don't need to. Mm -hmm. He's finished. Well, we don't need to balance this budget if that's the question. Is there going to be. $15,000 worth of units worth this year. Okay. Yes, that that's includes the mowing. All right, I got moved that we approve forty-one ninety-five for twenty-nine thousand nine hundred sixty-one. I'll second the discussion. Another question is: Do they have any outstanding checks from this year that they haven't cashed yet? Not that I know of. Just. Approved. Just paid yeah, him this week, so I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I think he'll cash it. There was a transfer of ownership there, and so they sat. The new company sat on the check. The new owner. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, ambulance, 4215. This is just a kind of 4% increase on this. That's a contracted increase, the 4%. It has something to do with New Hampshire's CPI. There's an explanation in the back. Um, they called and told us two hundred thirteen thousand eight hundred ninety uh, to eight hundred nineteen point nine. Um, okay. So they are limiting their cost of consumer pricing that's increase. From the uh, posted seven percent to just four percent. Yeah. I yeah. make a motion that we approve the ambulance contract in the amount of two hundred and thirteen thousand eight hundred and nineteen dollars and nineteen cents. Second. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Can I talk about one more budget item with you? Yeah, this is before that. Um, I wanted to talk to you. You guys already approved the financial administration budget. Part of that is office equipment and software. You guys have not made a decision or done anything about the phones, so the new phones are not in anywhere in the budget. So I'm really concerned. Where are you going to do that? And if you're going to do it, is that coming out of something other than our budget for the next year? I thought we were going to try to spend it out of this year's money. Is, uh, is that what you're doing? Yeah, I, um, I wasn't thinking involved there. That's, so. what, that's what I recall. I don't know. Yeah, come on in. 
I don't know. Good morning. Tell you not doing it out of 2023. So I shouldn't be I think you were in 2022 when you can get around on the street. Exactly. So you, can, uh, <laughs> you already got we have three. Car. We have three bits. We have three, we have three prices. Yeah. All right, so let's see about 2022. Okay, so. It should be easy. Can you assemble those uh, three so prices the together? The next Thank meeting. you. Yes, for for them because I think she copies. No, there's not three copies. That's the bids themselves. You gave copies for them. Yeah, I have. I have, yeah, them, I have them in my pile. Of copies. Yeah. 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 I'll make more copies for next she week. She can make more. Okay. Now, hold up, hold on. I just want to find where was it when we were doing Yeah, what is this? Kathy has to hang around up here, though. You're going to have to get a calculator in there. I could. <laughs> yeah, why don't you do that? I put the government uh, buildings in there. Okay. Is there anything else you need me to bring back with me before I run there? I don't there? know why I don't have that insurance. Um, it's two, it's two pages, guy. That was in your packet. That look, it's not a, an actual budget. It's yeah. two. That's why. Yeah. 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 And I think I gave you guys printouts from Phil. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. You can all get your email. We are all of the time, all the crew can come in. So, so it could be um, look at the, what we felt was the most feasible reduction for phase. We as a new chief? Correct. Um, and it, he felt that he couldn't compromise on the garage and the sally port, the garage and the processing. Um, I have a larger line of fuel. Um, and arguably that area, I'm not sure that one is more expensive than the other. Obviously, the garage area is fairly empty, with simple finishes, but the, the processing area is more expensive. The other side that we went with does have some a lot of expensive fit out, but it's basically a, mostly office space. So that part, the actual shell, is not all that expensive for the fit out would be. So um, it, it just seemed that that was a more viable option in terms of um, not um, compromising the feasibility of the, of the police station achieving the goal. And also thought that we could with a straight face say to 
USDA if you continue to pursue that, that this is addressed as all of the concerns that the police station has been dealing with since 1999 or whenever the first report was done. Um, so that, that was, ended up being the preferred option. Um, in terms of the budgeting of it, I went through all the various ones and it seemed like the number that was supposed to go to the town vote back in 21 which had both contingency of the contractor and the contingency for the town. Um, it seemed like it was probably the best number to use as a base. And then we took that number to create the um, what would be the projected cost now using a 20% increase. 20% increase came from our work on the Libby. Museum, which is kind of the same time frame, and that was the number that was derived for in increases in construction costs since about 2020, mid early to mid 2020. So that number is arguably a little bit higher, because that obviously 20% over a year and a half versus a year is, is um, it could be argued that, that the 20% is a conservatively high number. So we, until we go out and bid, there's no way to know for sure. So we took that number of 20% times, 120% times the 2021 number um, to get the overall cost estimate for now, divide that by the square foot rate of the existing, of the original, and then multiply that times the smaller footprint. And that's where the 1.65 comes from. And how much of that 1.65 is contingency? That would be 5% for the town and 5% for the building, so 10% for the So 165000 dollars which is exactly what we're short. For 164000 dollars short. And this number yeah. Does that include the USDA grant? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the next question. So we have a raise two million two hundred twenty six thousand dollars to the USDA to pay anything. My view of that, I don't know. They want all the money in the pot. No, that, I don't think that's what they were saying, but it's so vague as usual from them. Yeah. Um, what they need to see, what, their last response was somewhat encouraging, but like I said, it's so vague that I can't give you a definitive answer. It's, they seem to be considering the reduced size and phasing is feasible. But what they want to know is, firstly, what's the time frame for phase one and phase two? And where are the, where will the town come up with the rest of the funds for that second phase when they go, when they go forward with it? And that's just, so. I think we need if 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 we want to verify that the, the USDA grant is going to be still be available, I think we have to come up with the schedule and, and the budget based on but their the phase. position has always been that they're the last dollar spent. So. Does that mean they're in phase two? We don't have any of their money for phase one? I would optimistically say no, but I can't say for sure because it just. My argument with them was look, we're, the grant is for a workable police station that satisfies the town's requirements. And we're arguing this reduced version does that. So why shouldn't the whole grant still apply? Right. That's, that was my question. And then phase two becomes purely on us and right. our option. Right. And that's how I presented it to them. Again, as usual, they're vague. But I think if we can give them some projection of how this would run its course. Well, we don't know when phase two is going to happen. No, that's no. It could never happen. It could never happen. Yeah. yeah. But I don't think we'll get. Definitive answer. Well, maybe I mean, if we, if we go on with the idea that phase two is all on our nickel, 
and they would just say, this is the police station, are you still there? So the reduced size police station is what we're going to do. Are you still in the game, you want to Yeah, it's just a simple part. Yeah. There's no phase two, phase two may happen later. We're going to set up, hopefully the design is going to allow for an additional vertical. So I, I mean, the extra cost of for the whole foundation would be negligible. Same thing with the frame, really. It's not. Yeah, possibly, but I, I think you, you're you're minimal. more maintenance on a sec. You know, in the foundation you can cover over and not worry about it as long as its footings are insulated and the full of frost. No, I see. You're not even going to frame it out. No, you you you've eliminated the structure entirely. Right. <clears throat> Except the foundation. Well, I, I mean that, that that's a that's a question that can be decided at any point. But as I said it wouldn't be a huge cost increase to finish to do the whole foundation. And then, um, oh, so you didn't include the the, the twelve hundred square feet in that sixteen fifty eight eight oh eight. No, it's it's just it's, it's not there. Correct. The pink is that's that's how we get down from the two point. Well, we still have four desks, still have a conference room of choice. And in this money, this space for furniture, this furniture of the building? Well, that, that number that we used in, two, in the, the town vote in 21 had FF and E. Furnishes, fittings, and accessories. Uh, it had all the soft costs, the uh, contingencies. Um, that again, that, that wasn't the number that actually went because it pulled the contingency out for the town to be more palatable. Um, I'm suggesting that's not a good idea. Having said that, to the uh, point that uh, um, that's the difference between what you have. And what this estimate is, there's a good chance that between getting an actual bid number and not using all the contingencies, you could get down to where um, it is in that the, the feed that you have. Yeah, but the potential is there that you could spend every penny of it before we put a desk in there. Well, if you if you go out to bid, you're going to have a number before you start construction of what the cost is, and at that point, you have uh, the option to proceed or not, right? But I think, as we walk, we, as, you, as you know, if you take that three hundred thousand out of the USDA, that's a big number to make up for. Somewhere else. All right, and your your feeling is that one million six hundred fifty-eight thousand dollars all in is a good estimated cost. I think it's a little bit on the conservative, bearing in mind that, like I said, the twenty percent that we used for validity was coming from the. 20, uh, April 2020 number, and, and we're looking at about almost half of like the time of, of increases from the 21 number that we had. It would be five months from today before it goes up to bid. So, yeah, it's going to, that it's a, if you assume that the cost, the construction costs are still rising at the same rate, then some of that, you know, obviously the numbers are going to rise a little bit more from now to then. Yeah, but how do you feel about construction costs rising in the next six months? I don't, I don't see them going far in the next six months. I mean, today, today, today is, is, is a key day. A phony day. Right. A lot of consumer confidence can go either direction. We're certainly seeing everybody more interested in looking at additional work where six months ago you couldn't get anybody to look at something for a year and a half. Um, that's not the case anymore, although we still have a backlog. So, mm -hmm. you know, if we were looking at 
hitting the ground in spring, I think there's going to be more parties interested than there are right now. I think it's going in that direction. And obviously, the more we're interested, the more competitive the number will be. I'm much happier with this. this I'm much happier with this than uh, I was two weeks ago. This is doable, and uh, I would uh, I would not object to asking the taxpayer for hundred fifty thousand dollars. Well, I would object to taking hundred and sixty five thousand dollars. I'm just going to put it on the screen with anything for taxes. Well, before that. So, I mean, there are any number of routes really fully um, explored other grants that might be out there. But I guess the last, the only question on the table is whether FDA is still in the game. That's the thing. I guess that kind of needs to be answered, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. This is it. <clears throat> What are you going to do? Yeah, yeah and there's, there's little or no point going out to bid. It should be the FDA. Yeah, we have to have the pot. That's going to take more time. Right. 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 How do you know that? Um, I will try and do it myself first, and if I can't get any better, then I'll ask. The board to to uh, participate in the conversation as well because obviously you being the client um, for both them and us, I think that it will carry some more cloud. I was just trying to get a, a general sense of what they thought, <coughs> and right, you just don't, <laughs> you don't get one. You don't get one. No, it's not a. If it's not something that they can give a definitive answer, they don't give any answer. So we will need, so you do your conversation. If you can't get anywhere, tell me one. We're not going to meet with a functionary. You have to have a principal. I'm going to have a one to make a decision. Right. So just make them aware that it takes until December to make that happen. In terms, if it's on the assumption that all goes well, um, would it be the intent vein for the spring? Yeah. Which means that we wouldn't really go out to bed until probably February. Well, we're all in. We're, we're in. Well, so I guess. I just <laughs> think if we bid it too soon, they're going to pad it out, not okay. knowing what the economy is going to do. <laughs> um, so. You know, I think I'm going to hold a number for two months, three months, but it's not six months. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's not as if we have to really wait for a uh, We may not have to wait for a road of the town in March. Well, it depends on where the $150,000 comes from. Right. We have to work on that. And what we don't have, th this route won't get the um, emergency operation center grant. Because we cut that off. How much was that? Maximum of 125. I don't know, I haven't seen your calculations on the thing, but I, I'm not sure that you did because that hasn't been guaranteed. So the application hasn't really been processed. I know we talked about this before, but isn't the, isn't the fire station also serve as an emergency operations center? Yeah. Doesn't the school also serve as an emergency well, operations center? It's a little different because it's not under the town. Right. We don't want it. Any use we have for uh, like right. voting or for town meetings is uh, granted to us by the government of the school district as a nice favor to us. And in turn, we plow their driveway, provide an emergency generator when the power goes out. Yeah, we have an extra $125,000 grant to spend an additional million dollars for the All right, so when do you think you can get back to us? Um, 
But since it's a USDA, I venture, yes, but that's all I'm going to um, Hopefully, before the end of the month. Yeah. 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 I appreciate your efforts. It's not the only project. It's I know, but it's just adds to it. It's a tough game. Well, thank you for doing that. Right. I think this is the only way to do it. Today's I did want to. I don't. I think she should hurry. Maybe I had this conversation. If you wanted to raise his concerns with that reduced scale, um, I think they're valid concerns, but. Some of his concerns really maybe not fully addressed in the complete project. So, um, he did mention concerns of storage, but really we're not taking much storage out of it. So, if it's a concern for the reduced scale building, it was a concern for the full scale. Do you have fresh air? Air um, exchange built into the uh, HPC system? Yes, the HRV system is what they do. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the social isolation issues, they're always going to be with us. The training, we have an underutilized um, fire station for training. And with regard to Taxes going down, well, taxes going down. Yeah, but that doesn't change the amount of people that are paying out of their pocket. <clears throat> Very much. And neither one of those in questions or statements makes any difference to the police station. Right. Because we still have to go out and ask for money. So even though my taxes went down, I still might not go to the police station. More. <clears throat> the dynamic. It's set up with not change, though. Right. Eating spaces. They can't eat at a desk. Or down at Pier 19 or anything, right? So, uh, this is good. Sorry. You're right, Chip. Some of those concerns are really not that bad. Well, I mean, they're valid enough. They just don't fit into the matrix of the world. Does this can be a copy of that? No. I can support you email. Yeah, do that. Do that. Yeah. So I'm going to be one to me for the email. Okay. Okay. I'm going to All right. Thank you. Thank you. Nice, nice work. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be there. Right. What do we got? We did, did some of your conservation work done. So we're just down to it was the health insurance. Health insurance. And then get a calculator to your government building. Again. Now I just write the We're done with the police department. Speaking of recycling center, yeah. I think we need to have non-public. <laughs> mm. 
I hope we got time. Maybe at the end. Which one? The personal administration budget. We're really we're gonna have to set the tax rate as well, right? Yes. And then we sign as an official paper that um, Kathy can print it out ready to be warned. Yes. Yep. Uh, she's not here. Uh, can't do that math. Right. Do that. Right. I'll talk to you the budget for it. You want me to have her bring something back? No, I just, I, I think we'll be, we did approve the personnel administration, which I don't think, did we? We have G. that what we get from the personnel administration budget chip? That's that's a breakdown of that's per employee cost. Um, it, it should look just like the budget that we've been through. Okay. But without this, we have something to discuss. Yeah, that just gives us the information because we need that. Yeah. Or I need it. Twenty-two budget. <laughs> the health insurance cost or the budget figure for twenty twenty-two is twenty seven two thousand is the twenty-three thousand four hundred and twenty-five dollar HIV reimbursement. Dental was 
Sphere does it. Probably have to check into that conference. They have to travel to go get the test. So, that's a savings of $12,890. Which is, do you, I'm sorry, do you have a copy of the personal administration budget? No. Well, I don't have social security change. I can't. He gave us the retirement. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to approve this budget today. I'm just going to talk about health insurance. I can't do that budget until I know what plan you're taking and how much it's going to be. I have to plug the numbers in. So all I ask from you at this point is what insurance plan and what we're doing as far as cost goes. Okay. 
Okay, there was some discussion earlier about you and I having a meeting in heaven. We just talked about business out of school. A little changing of the matrix for how health insurance is I think I brought to you my desire to have this discussion. And I think that the conversation is going to lead to that. <clears throat> well, given what, I'm sorry, whether we change anything or not, I just. Uh, I think we owe it to the uh, taxpayer to at least have the discussion. Yeah, I'm happy to do that. <clears throat> and I think what we might want to do is set up a series of meetings in the next year to address it. Because if you were to change it to the suggested matrix that you were talking about, where the work is 10% or 20% of the employees put in. It's going to totally alter all of our budgets and have employees and we're going to revisit every budget. Well, what I, what, I, what I would like to propose to discuss is to have any future employees uh, take a portion of their health insurance, whether it be uh, a percentage that we decide upon. 10, 15 percent, whatever. Um, any of the existing employees would be unchanged, so there would be no percent, there would be no dollar savings immediately. It would be only in future employees. Or if the insurance company insisted that we have one plan rather than two ways of doing this, I, I don't know how all this works. But um, if we change it to a certain percentage that the employee contributes now, existing employees, that we give them a compensatory uh, raise to offset any loss in that based on insurance. So this, that's two scenarios. One, we can deal with in a policy discussion and just make the policy that's what it's going to be. Maybe employees can have X number of dollars in insurance. The, other way to approach the current employee population is to say, okay, we're going to limit the town's insurance exposure at three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So, if there's a thirty thousand dollar increase next year, we're only paying three hundred fifty thousand dollars for health insurance. It's just another way. <coughs> I'm a little uncomfortable with that because um, there'd be no. I mean, I I think that, that that the town, being a benefits provider, has to absorb some costs. But we know that insurance costs are exponential every year. They want to go up you know, 15, 20 percent. They usually end up settling somewhere around 11 or 12. Well, this is the first time we've been in double digits in your own thing. Right. And we went down 8.1% last year. Yeah, that was a bonus year. Yeah. It doesn't happen. No. Probably never. We've had years with the other one. We have had this argument with the budget for the other six years, but it isn't a 20% increase in health insurance. It just isn't. This year, it's 11%. Next year, it may be 8%. Right. But I think, it, but I think if we set the uh, set it at a fixed percentage rate between the town and the employee, then both of those numbers will go away. If you set if you cap it at three hundred fifty thousand dollars in ten years, who knows what's going to maybe? Well, I just said the percentage offset could be both the cash and whatever you can find or whatever you want to do. <clears throat> but it's just another approach. I think the uh, policy decision. And we included in the holiday policies, which we have to address. Um, Can I muddy the waters a little more? Yes. Um, I, I'm confused as to why the talent paid 100% uh, coverage on someone who's on Medicare. Uh, because the insurance company won't allow us to have an insurance group, not everybody being in the group. I've asked that. But being in the group is one thing. But 100% coverage is nothing. You know, everybody gets the same coverage. Or I, I, I guess we could, I 
time, even though we can, I think that time to Diane about this two or three years ago. I'm creating another level of insurance. And they said, no, right? You know, yeah. if your employees get this, it's just the insurance companies. Fine, wow. I just didn't know why. This is the first time we've been able to get into it and discuss it. Just a, Medicare, a Medicare Advantage plan for people over 65 would be a lot of expensive. Well, actually, there is no such thing as a Medicare Advantage plan, and that's being based uh, on people are using the wrong terms if you're up on top of that. Uh, the actual parts of Medicare is one thing. Medicare Advantage is not Medicare at all. It's an insurance policy. Right. Medicare is coverage. And anybody over 65 has Part A, which is 80% of hospitalization costs. So when we're paying 100%, uh, Medicare could be paying 80% of their costs. No, and they would. They would. Whether or not we're paying but, 100% or not. But you're saying that the insurance company won't allow us to do it presently in the current situation. That's all I need for now. That's why... Do you want me to confirm that with you? You can, but I can confirm that with you. I'll talk to your local labor senators and have them pass it along. And that's how it works. Okay. That's all I want to know. We need to be able to... All the money we have over 65. Uh, well, well, we're paying at least two, and I know one of these it will be short. Yeah. yeah. That's a new target. Right. We have an aging workforce. Here, you know. <laughs> All right, any more discussion, Bob? I mean, are you satisfied with the policy discussion on future employment? And then we can address percentage of participation. <laughs> I simply want to have the discussion that we're having. How far, how far we take this discussion today, I guess it's up to you. As long as uh, we've got the ball rolling, we're going to um, either decide to make a decision or decide not to make a decision. That's the, that's the end game. I think today we have to make a decision that's going to create the dollars in health insurance. Well, the policy decision that, uh, that I'm proposing is going to have no effect on the uh, on Okay, well, let's move this in. I'm going to move the health insurance number of $343,742.60. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And Let's <coughs> let's pick a meeting at some point. I'm not going to be here tonight, but I, I appreciate what you've done. And it's something we need to have some time to think about how to approach it. Sure. So, actually, I'm um, yeah. He has that. I want to go to the budget. Ah. Yeah, he doesn't want to break down. Because the social security. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll do that. Okay, so you're going to bring us personnel administration. That's all you have left. No, we have the government building. Oh, yeah, I have the. Final number? Final number. And it came out to and I did it. I actually plugged it into the computer and did it on a calculator. And it comes out to 165,791. The candidate was right twice. No, I was wrong. Kathy, Kathy was right uh -huh. the first time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move other government buildings. At one hundred sixty-five thousand seven hundred ninety-one dollars. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. So I think that's it for budgets. I'm going to cross it out. Which we'll have to finish it up for you next week. <clears throat> so other government buildings. Or, or, I'm sorry. Um, personnel is going to be at our next meeting. Um, we can go all the rest of them to uh, budget. Uh, we can go to uh, the budget meeting. Uh, we can go to the budget meeting.
Uh, we do need to the Kauai rate to want you to vote on the tax rate. Yeah. And then I printed out the warrant. Because yeah. I have to upload it to the state. Do you have that with you? I do. So you each got a copy of the tax rate. Yeah. So you have to. All right, the current tax rate breakdown for Tucker Borough 2022 is $6.84 total, which is $2.04 for the municipal rate, $0.77 for the county, $2.74 for the local education tax, $0.89 for state education, and that's a total of $6.44. Lower Beach Pond has no Board's tax rate calculation. No. <coughs> Total municipal tax number is eleven million eight hundred ninety-four thousand one hundred and seventeen minus one hundred and three thousand one hundred and fifty dollars for more service credits for total tax commitment of eleven million seven hundred and ninety thousand nine hundred and sixty-seven dollars. And I think approval of that motion. Second. Uh, discussion? Sure, only because this is my first year, I'm new at, uh, at this thing. Uh, tax effort numbers, where do these come from? This is, uh, these are just uh, the last it's taking historical the numbers. No, it's taking the valuation, right? yeah. and yeah, it's using last year's question. I'm sorry. That's what you're saying. Questions. And, um, and the county and the local and state and yeah. the budget that they presented for their standard our town operating budget. It's in here. Uh, um, <coughs> the next page municipal operating account overview. So, total per appropriation, I'm sorry, 5,406,465. Uh, net revenue is a million seven hundred fifty-five eight forty-eight. That's uh, other revenues that are coming in. Not taxes. Less five thousand out of the hundred three hundred twenty dollars for two plus two. Right. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, less one three more service credits. Less the older way, which the state bumped up to thirty-three thousand eight hundred eighty-three dollars. That's for use when we have patients um, to come in. And again, this number is based on previous qualities. Last year's. Right. The money appropriated at general meeting. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <coughs> the same thing will happen next year. Okay. And then you can break out all the, like, the utility meetings and all the rest So the tax rate is basically set in arrears. So you don't have to every year. And if you want to know more about where the numbers come from and all that, <coughs> I have all that. Like some comes from the MSI, some comes from the 434. It's all of it. Okay. So, do we have a motion up there? I seconded it. And further discussion on the fund balance retention guideline. The operative word is guidelines. The state would have us hold um, 10% of the total taxable tax effort, if you will. Total 11 million dollars of school, school, and local health for the county. That is excessive. My estimation is it's the money that we're keeping from the taxpayer. And our current, um, current undesignated fund balance as of the end of 21 was 874,678, <clears throat> which is more than the original chamber of the state. It's still too much all those in favor of accepting the tax rate? Aye. Okay, you've got the warrant. 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 
sites identified and selected as part of that grant project to have designs done for. Um, and they're listed there. One on New Road, uh, Roadside Garden on Route 109, and a project on North Coast Road. Um, these were in the three of the top ten sites identified to target as priority sites because they would reduce a lot of pollutant loading to neighboring streams and eventually to the lake. So um, I submitted a grant over a year ago, September 2021. The select board at the time provided a letter of support for the project. Um, but there's been so much delays at New Hampshire BDS and whatever that I don't even have government and council approval yet. I have a grant agreement. It's back to the uh, going to the Hampshire Government Council approval, which I hope it will be on the December schedule so that by next January we can start. 
so I want to make you aware of them. Um, we've got 50000 in grant money allocated to these three sites. At this point, I don't know if that's enough, to be honest, because the way labor materials have changed since this was all put together. Who knows? But so it, it may be we only do two of the sites. And at the time, we didn't ask a federal grant to put any money towards this project. And is there generally a split in the money? Well, the grant requires a match, so it's a 60 40 split. But, you know, we have grant money to do some work over in Winter Harbor in Wolfboro. Mm -hmm. And they have some projects ongoing that we can count as match so that we weren't going to need match from the um, Of course, if there's any projects you have on schedule for next year that we might be able to this match, but no, we're not schedule for next year. We have a public hearing. Is it Monday. It's a Monday. Yeah. No, no, one group, uh nineteen month hearing. Oh. I think that's this Wednesday. Is a public hearing about that? We're going to reconstruct the pier on Monday. Yeah. Um, there's a public the PBS. I think it's Wednesday night. This one's today. Uh, so we're looking at spending $100,000. It could. It depends on what the project is. So is there any school more improvements? Yeah, it should be. I mean, we're, we're changing it from a level build uh, from a dock into a bulkhead, from a bulkhead to a So when we run out, it's going to be pointing backwards. Huh. Um, yeah, we can find some action. Yeah. Howard Phillips is our engineer. Is he an engineer? Um, Headwaters. No, Headwaters. Head. Edgewaters? No, Head. Headwaters. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> and Tyler Phillips is the contact number. Can we get you information on that as well? For that, and also you get the. Um, on this project, you get Lake Road. This one right here. Yeah, the project that we're doing is only here. Okay, because we're going to be doing from here out doing a bulkhead on this area as well. So, see, what is that thing? Oh. There's a road that runs out here to a multiple bunch. Oh, well that, that would be helpful as a match as yeah. well. Yeah, at the time, it was decided not to pursue this because of the butter. I guess it wasn't blocked. Um, so this project is only involves um, This butter is included? Way back, it was considered it would be difficult to try and get that site done. Yeah, that's good. Anyway, we are going to be doing that for kind of something. It's on our list. We thought about putting it on next year, probably more. Because we haven't got the pier done yet because of what it's been. It didn't have an original grant in my so we had to go through that whole process to get the ability to actually repair something like that. That's taking a little longer than we thought. Yeah, it does. Um, so I don't know how the town normally proceeds. So LWA is the grantee, and we would be putting the project out to the bid. Um, would you want an MOU between LWA and the town? I thought that would be necessary. Um, I believe all of these projects are in the town's right of way. 
from the Southern and State Railway, like the Northwoods Road, and the Town Road. That's right. Didn't we discuss maybe not flying that anymore because it's not a town road? <laughs> it is a town road. We discussed this discontinuing that. Yes. We have done that yet. Yeah. We have done that yet. Yeah. So. Okay, good. <laughs> well, that wouldn't necessarily preclude us helping with it. Yeah. It's an environmental issue. Yeah. I think if we're going to have to pay 20% or it's an 80 20 split of them, that would change the 40. It's 60-40, it's 60, 40, but I'm hoping that match can come right. from other projects. My only concern is when we started this with our cost estimates, are we now too low? Because it, initially I asked for more money in the grant and they cut back what they awarded. So we have 15,000. And that, the engineer was hoarsely written in the estimates, his high end was 20,000 for the new road. He had 16,000 for um, okay, Route 109, which seems very high to me. Uh, and you're concerned about the fact that there is a scam and what? Oh, no, I just, she she also would publish that. I don't even understand. I think we're going to kind of chat and do that just for. Backup for, or if we already have it from when we established this would be originally 2020. No, we don't. And you know, that's I guess up to the town. I did a similar project over in Moltenboro. We didn't have an overview, but Moltenboro, through their DPW, put out the bid and everything. Right. And I just paid But this uh, would probably so be the contract from LWA and the. They control the project. So if that's the way it's set up here, then we will be doing that either. But if you're going to run the project, you're going to just pay out 40% of the cost. Yeah. 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 And I think your total estimate for the project, you were buying the soils at $20,000. Mm -hmm. And that was like the number one priority thing. In the end, really? So we were going on it. No. <laughs> so is that $20,000 still good? Well, that's how much I'm going to have on the grant. Whether that's still good is an estimate. I won't know until we put it up to bid. So you're going to get 20 grand for that. From the grant, and then we'll put it up in the yeah. I don't know if Tuckenborough has any funds to put towards any of these projects. We probably do. I mean, we've got some unexpended money that we've got in from grants. We have a million places that we can fund it. But, I mean, if that project came in, Fifty thousand dollars. I think we could probably work on it for Yeah, my my plan is to put all three projects out at once and have one firm in the contract to do all three. So if that's the case, let's say the whole thing comes in at a hundred thousand dollars. You need to write a fifty thousand dollar loan to make it happen. And that would be the only thing. When do you think you'll have your stuff together? Well, like I said, I'm waiting on governor and council approval. Mm -hmm. This is a grant. Mm -hmm. um, they haven't issued the agenda for this meeting November 22nd. Um, the agenda hasn't been publicized yet, so I don't know if it, this grant is on it. And if it's not on that one, the next meeting is like December 7th. It's two in December. So we need to have a decision from your end of things by before the end of the year and we're going to do a one hour talk in March. Yeah, and I wouldn't have a bid put up and we wouldn't have you know, responses. Right. 
wouldn't have that many people. I mean, we don't need to contract it. We just need to have an idea of what the money is going to be. Yeah. I wouldn't have it. I have what Horsley Whitman gave his estimates. That's what we based his grant on. Those were estimates out of that. That's over a year ago. That's my concern. Yeah, that has to be up to something. And we can work on our end. I don't know if there's any additional money out there for this kind of project. This is the end of the experience. Looking at the end of the opportunity. Or, I guess, you could pick and choose what you want to do and present that number to us. I mean, if we were one of the projects, let's say we were, and it required $20,000 of our money, then we could have an active discussion about spending $20,000 on it out of whatever grant management that can come around to. We got some extra highway block grant money this year that they won't allow us to put in the revenue. We got some ARPIC funds that are left over. But as I said, we've got any number of things we can use that on. So, so we look really well amount to what what you came up with for a real number for us now. Do you um you have a road agent, kind of. Yes. So is that somebody that I should talk with and would he be good at getting us on this or no? He's going to be here. Yeah. Supposedly at 11 30. He's going to be here shortly. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Ask him. Yeah. Ask him. See if there's something. Maybe he can see if he can do it. He does have a private contract in business. I don't know how much of it. How much of this work would put into that? Yeah, it's just, you know, it's not like it is. PCWs have a pretty good idea sometimes about what right. cost. Uh-huh. Yeah, he may take other pieces, so this is what it's going to cost to do. But it's not in his operating budget to do this. So I have to do it in some other fashion. All right. You want to wait for the ladies or are you going to go vote? It's going to be here shortly. Or you can share that with them. I don't know what time is it. It's going to be a long week. Okay. Can we, I'm going to make a motion to take it. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. Okay, tomorrow 2022 equalization municipal assessment data certificate. And so be sure that this is a breakdown of our reevaluation. I'm going to make a motion to sign. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Good morning, Jim. Okay. And we've got a um, notice of intent to cut. Um, 4112 Bayview Drive. Make a motion to sign. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Holidays. Kathy needed them in order to do something. Yeah, um, <laughs> that could be it. <clears throat> and do we have 
last year's holidays? No, the only difference with last year's for the town hall was the day after Christmas. I'm sorry, the day before Christmas. The town what? Holidays. <clears throat> well, we don't have a day before Christmas. No, because Christmas is on a Monday. Why do you need the day before? Right. So, question in my <clears throat> mind is, we have paid holidays, now we're paying everybody for Sunday the 24th. No, that's just, there. this one is the transfer station, and they're requesting to forego this one. <coughs> okay, so this they're going to get paid on. Sunday, but they work on Sunday. Christmas is a Monday. <coughs> the Christmas is Christmas. Right. And they're asking for these two four votes. <coughs> so they moved Christmas to Monday? So they're looking for pennies instead of this year. Oh. 2023. Well, they moved everything else to Monday, I wasn't sure. <laughs> no, I'm looking at So they're creating a holiday on Christmas Eve? Well, we normally get Christmas Eve off. That's 12 holidays. Two, so is that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve holidays. So we're ask, they're asking, our holiday schedule includes 12 holidays. This one for Easter. Yeah, they, they picked up these things. <coughs> right. And they took away um, Juneteenth, I think it was for No, they took away the after Thanksgiving. Correct. Instead of Friday. So they gave up two days that they weren't working. And they would like the day before Christmas to forego. Right, we want two Sundays off. Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. it's not the two Sundays that they normally would be. Right. <coughs> yeah. So why then, is the season there? It's um, a Monday. <coughs> yeah, no, no, they get 12 holidays. So. So they get the paid holiday even though they're not open. Right. And they are not open. It's not that they're not working. Although I don't know if they work on this. They don't. <coughs> and then they have, you know, things going on and that sort of thing. At any rate, the employee name of this club on is got a book of these lists. The question. That remains in my mind is that <coughs> some of the employees shouldn't get an increase. That's a different topic. That's a different discussion. I'm going to make a motion that we approve the two holiday schedules for 2023. Bob's going to second for discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I'll second for discussion. Okay, well, <coughs> is your preference? No, the, the, the transfer station, they definitely have a different operating schedule than the, uh, than the other employees in town. 
Okay. And I, I, I take no issue with their proposed schedule. Okay. Got any? <laughs> Ready to vote? Never. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> Hi, Jim. Hello. Jim. <laughs> Do I forget? <clears throat> Two things. Look at, look at um, 171 Mount Road. No, it's not your road. It's a state road. Yeah. But I think somebody needs a speed on the sign. On one side or the other. Heading north uh, from the intersection of Ledge Hill and 171. <coughs> so just see if they have a maybe for more practice. Okay. Uh, the state knows about that. I was going to bring that up and select this update. They know who did it and they know put back where it belongs. Okay. I've got to make honest track of that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Next item drive down Kingdom Road, head out to Camp Maribus and see how far you can get. Because my understanding from reports I haven't been out is that Maribus is put a bunch of brush and other stuff in that roadway. It's a class six road. That anything like that qualifies as a gate or a bar. You can't have a bar to the road unless the selectmen decide to do that. <coughs> you even have to have a beam of over the town. So if they don't want that road from Bill Stockman's parents' old house to get their camp discontinued. They'll take care of it. Six hundred. Yeah. Bill Bill Spot and I used to walk there every year so that we could you know, keep it somewhat clear and yeah. stuff like that. It's probably not a bad idea to do it again and make sure that we Yeah, we can walk and we're on our phone and make them clear and they're messy. We got nothing for them on our December North of um, we get no money from those camps and we get a lot of services. Yep. And it's not a lot of crazy talk about I I wonder if there's some kind of GPS problem that sends people that way. No, there's people that go out that way. That's the people looking at a house out there on a short past bridge. <laughs> <coughs> where it makes it feels that is a lot on the panel. And where this has winter programs. Yeah. They're out there all year. You know, know, right? I think Camp Mary Vista where the office is. Yes. I'm guessing that's past that is where you're talking about the brush pile. I wonder if GPS can actually well, would send you that direction to go over to Austin. I don't know. I just want to see classics road and not block. Yep. Wherever it is, maybe we need to sign up there too. I guess is my thought. This way to Austin. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> have we bought a dump truck? <clears throat> did you give a deposit? We have not, uh, but I did talk to him. Uh, I guess it's been two weeks now. He said he was waiting for to get the serial number. It's still in the factory. He was waiting to get the serial number so that we have the correct serial number to do paperwork. That's where we're at. Okay. On the way of the horse, okay. It's about I think that was the only three weeks ago. It was. We started the crack ceiling, and that's still in progress. We started uh, reading the dirt road, which is still in progress. Uh, we had cleaned up the beaver culvert uh, over on Lane Pond quite a few times, but I think we're finally good there. It seems to have stopped. Um, we've had to fill, uh, we've been working on filling all the road edges for, you know, this missing gravel, the gravel just moved out or whatever. Uh, before winter, you know, once you get your real car over there, that's no good. Uh, I also, uh, I met with, uh, Carol Paving, reviewed some of the projects for next year. Um, uh, we should be receiving pricing by the end of the week. We're hoping to have it. 
this week. But are you saying that they talked to on that road? Well, it's, it's one that I want to look at. <laughs> I think we're going to have, you know, you guys are going to make the final decision, but we need to have two options, I guess. Yeah. Where are we going to go for a ride? Yeah, we never did a ride around this year. Yeah, time for a ride. I'll be willing to do that. Um, today? Poor thing. You just want to leave here. I'm going to go for a ride. <coughs> Whatever you guys would like to. Okay, we got to try to get four people on the same schedule to do that, or maybe even five. I don't know, but yeah. Is this okay. something that we have to post? Yeah. Well, we usually do our same meeting then. Seriously, any reason why we can't do it today? Because we have to be at the polls. One of us has to be. One of us has to be here. I'll volunteer to be here. Excuse me. Yeah, take a ride with the road in town. Yeah, I did the last ride. We did this ride. We all did the last ride. Yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, we did it in Bill's. I know the road. Right. <clears throat> and isn't there more to throw away than top coding? We've got to finish it up there. Well, we did the loop, which was the worst section. <laughs> Obviously, there's more to go. But again, I think that's the discussion after we drive around and see how the rest of the weapons are. And where do we want to start? And well, obviously, you want to top coat everything that you base coated. Correct. Right. That has to be done. <coughs> yep, that has to be done. We're going to take a little side trip. We had a fellow from any complain about Pine Hill Road that the, there was a ditch being created and water was running into a septic system. Pavement was collapsing under the ditch. And whatever I looked at it, number 18. Mm -hmm. okay. it's Very good. You know, then basically the mail vehicle drives off the road a little bit to get to the box, creates the ditch, and collapses that. You're talking about reclaiming the paving pine hole road, which I would presume would be adding gravel to the shoulders afterwards, which should alleviate this problem. Eh? Correct. If that happens. I don't now, think that. I don't think you can pave the pine hole road without doing work on the road yeah. that. Well, when you, when you, that'll happen when it gets reclaimed. Yeah, before reclaiming, you go through <coughs> and all the rocks, which then there's a minefield in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, is it possible to throw some gravel down by his mailbox and build that up a little bit? Would that, would that be too expensive? Or no, not too expensive to work with you. Filling the design to the road, that would help him. Yeah. Especially while we're out filling right. all the road. If you put that on your list, I'm sure it'd be that. Thanks. Yeah, you got a top coat everything is ready for it. <laughs> it's fine. Well, drive. Mm -hmm. Drive, not road. Yes. Drive. It's just uh, drive. It's four hours. Now, I was looking for it. You couldn't find a final road. I found a final road. Yeah, we were in Northern Woods when we were stopping. Yeah. <laughs> if they had said back to Woods, I would have understood. Yeah, I know. We were all back to Woods, too. Two things that came up on the CIP. We were in there. First, yeah. first, yeah. CIP. Yeah, the last meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's it. Um, um, when are we going to put the paving out to bid again? Because Carol's had it for a number of years now. We don't have anybody else looking at it. Especially on the local road. Maybe we can just put that up a little bit. Yeah, we could certainly do that. I think that what we need to do is get a list of together what we I want to do, and we'll call around and get some pricing. Okay. Yeah, let's see if we can do that over the lunch and get some budget. <coughs> Secondly, we took the crack ceiling out of the fire station budget because you're going to do a presumed to crack ceiling. We, we took crack ceiling. Oh, you do crack ceiling. Yeah. So you can do the fire stations or do the main station. That's going to handle the seal coat part of it. Yeah, we don't do the seal code, but we do crack sound the right and do all the bridges and try to do our rest roads first. So let's include the fire station in that program. Um, we had a lady in from Winnipesaki Watershed Association. Okay. I'll be 
Anyway, there are two projects she's working on. Um, and she got a grant for, or she hasn't gotten a grant yet, but she's working on it. At the top on there, and there's pictures and other than that. The top project actually ended up being a top rated project around the way. Um, so her question was, is that something the road agent would do? I said it's not in his budget, but he has all the equipment to do any of these things. It's just a matter of what <coughs> But maybe it would cost it out to get some of the little uh, truck for the money and put contact information. Okay, so this top one. Which is New Road, is that the one? Right. It's the one that we have to move to New Road, like some 120 miles. And if it coincides with anything we're doing, <coughs> it's a 60 40 split on the cost for the state, and we can include in our 40% other work we're doing in some old fashion for credit, if you will. Yep. But she's working on it. Is the uh, cell tower happening at the place? Oh, yeah. It's almost done, but uh, they, they got the <coughs> tower probably three quarters of the way to go, and it just seems to have just fall down. I'm not sure what happened, but <coughs> three quarters is, is already up. I believe the weather had two nights. <laughs> I, I feel like they're down here working probably at the fire station. I don't see a tower there. Yeah, they yes, have they have branches on it already. The first section, they got those stupid uh, branches sticking out of it. The big tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no branches at our place yet. It looks dumb. Does it? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it looks better than the one up on top of uh, County Road, probably. Uh, yeah. When you see that in the lake, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a cell tower. There's no doubt. Yep. It looks out of place. I mean, I guess cell towers are not out of place anymore. It's pretty common sight, but everywhere. Mm -hmm. I personally think the efforts to disguise them are worse looking than the cell tower itself. <laughs> I agree. And uh, I, would, I would never be heard. So, are we all set for colder weather? Sanders, Miles, that one um, we'll see. Okay. We're, we're not we're not there yet. Okay, it's being worked on. You know, making sure the trucks are good and stuff like that. So we'll see my trucks on my time. Uh, if it's been going on, so okay. the Sanchez will definitely not full. It's not house for you to do. Um, yeah, because this weather is in the months forever. Yeah, we've been fortunate, but we are going to try to haul sand in as it's dry out. I, I hate paying for rain. Yeah. And when we buy sand, it's weight. So, try to find, you know, next couple of days to dry, we'll probably haul some in. Yeah, we'll do it dry. I thought we'd get there early enough. I think the rain's starting at 2. Yeah. 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 2 o'clock. Maybe. 2 o'clock. You know it's going to start at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. Let's see, I heard it's going to start at 2 o'clock. Let's see, I heard it's going to start at 2 o'clock. I don't play as much for my ears. This is my fault. Give me this back. No, I don't. Okay, that's why I don't want to hear you. Oh, CIP. Back to CIP. Their feeling was, and we have discussed in this, this is the first time I've run out of the industry, is they want to put a 5% increase in the uh, campaign budget. 
So rather than it just sitting at 400 forever until it decided to change it, on their CIQ, was the majority of people putting up, they put a pound of 5% incremental increments in the world. It's not a decision they get to make as to whether or not we implement that, but that's their recommendation. I don't know what baby costs are doing. Fuel costs are up. It's your painting costs are up as well. Yeah, it's directly related. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So we don't want to. If we get to the war, we don't want to. It would be nice to have some figures from Carol. <coughs> I'm hoping we have by the end of the week. Um, I will. You know, get a sort of bring match that you guys have. Yeah. So we've got the operating budget done. Okay. So we'll start working on the winner because we're in the bar, because I'm going to pay for the European bar. You've got your dump truck. No, I don't think there's anything else. If that was it, just the, the normal heating that you guys come up with. Right? You know, can get you pricing on any roads you want. So if you have other roads, if you want pricing, just let me know which rows those are. And, and well, I know we're going to get pricing on the rows up in the middle, but we you know, so we haven't done any work on that for a long time. Yeah. So we do want to look at that. Um, we're there may be a petition or an article that shows up this year for the town to take over the schoolhouse room. So when you're driving around, you may want to take a ride over that. Does that have to be brought up to town spec first? Yeah. Yeah, that has well, to be done. We can take it over, premise upon bringing it up to town specifications, <clears throat> and they get a the town assessment. Oh, much like the Will End Road project? Same idea. Same idea. Yeah, better than you know, whatever you did. I did have some uh, people approach me about Neil Hill. I mean, you probably heard about that as well. They would like help with that road as well. And so you guys start probably with the selection office. And I'm assuming it'll have to go through uh, an upgrade to bring that just kind of standards. Which the engineer was involved in building the town spots. I mean, that would be a plan in the 90s. All I don't know is I've heard it's been in terrible shape for many, many years. It's a private road, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Off the story of road. Yeah, off the story of road. Yeah, right. You're coming from the road. Yeah, that one's in the 90s. It's been in the road for that one. It wasn't built to town because it no. didn't have to be. Yeah, according to his own, it did. Even, I don't know that changed. Maybe like that. Yeah, it but it was a change mm -hmm. when the court was on um, building to town spots. And I, a lot of housing is going on up there, I know that. There's more of houses. And that's some of the complaint is last spring when it was really muddy, the cement trucks were just going in and out of there constantly. The bats were, you know, two feet deep. And nobody mm -hmm. knew them. Yeah. Just got that. They don't have a homeowners association, it's just a right of way. From what I understand, I had three people approaching <laughs> together at the same time asking who can help them out. And, uh, so that's not a decision. Okay. <laughs> All right. So they're going to be looking to talk to you at some point, I'm sure. Anything else for our earlier? Okay. I'm going to have the fact that I really have to go for a ride today. If you have time, if not. Uh, I have an appointment at 2 that I have to be at. Um, just go now, that's fine. <clears throat> you can be here all day. I'll be here all day too. If you get time this afternoon, come grab me. Okay. Um, here.
if you want, you might just sit next to the house. Get a quick bite to eat, and I can come back and can go for uh, a little bit of a ride, anyways. Yeah. Uh, before two. Let's go to the two. Yeah. Maybe we can push up to the two. Before, maybe after. Yeah. Or another day. Yeah. Today we'll probably work there. I'm good with that if you guys so are. Yeah, we're good. Uh, again, I'll get out of all of you today. And uh, trust you guys' judgment. You know, judgment. <laughs> You're going to stand before something like that. You're going to get judged. <laughs> Believe me. So they do so, uh, Repent. <laughs> <laughs> repent. <laughs> I was reading the comedy of the sun this morning. Oh. Uh, yeah, you don't need to decide the election. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, that's pretty good, Bob. I remember that Bob works for me, I remember a lot of us, so he's not always here during the day. Right. Yeah, no, so today's good for you, man. It's probably good for Bob. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense to me. We're here. Okay, as far as we can. All right. Okay, yeah, I'm going to grab some to eat for you to help me do these two. Not much time. Yeah, we're, we've got two more things to finish up with. Okay. All right, so if I was to be back in 35 to 40 minutes, you'd be good to go? Sure. It should be. Okay. Perfect. And. You have to go to I get to go to. Uh, we still haven't talked about our. Um, oh, okay, the correspondence, we get a letter from the International Association of Finance, so we only have to keep our records for six years. So anything older than 2015 can be disposed of. No, that they only have to keep them. If you want them back, they will send them to us, but otherwise you need to decide whether you want them or they can destroy them. Yeah, that's helpful. They're the legal files. They're legal files back to 2015. So they can either send them back to us. <coughs> Yeah, I'm just looking back. Okay. And then we'll work out on turning them away. And we got a, it's a bill from Carroll County Treasurer for $1,426,291. Do the ninth day of December. That's our just proportion of the county budget. And we still have our summer. So, are you good with that? That you're in the action folder, so we need to know. Is, are you you're good with that? We don't have any. Okay. Is there any question of the county? No. No. Okay. So we're good with um, we still haven't done anything at our solid waste collection and disposal agreement. That is the fourth time. Fourth time. Um, Why are we kicking the can down the line? Because I haven't done the math on it yet, and I don't have last year's contract protection. I didn't ask for it. We have the previous contract to figure out. Because we never pay a fuel search ever. And all of a sudden, some fuel search just came So, if you don't want to. Thank you. Um, correspondence. We have a brush fire. Which uh, she, <coughs> the fire she talked about, the assessment, we got an assessment report on the 2020 assessment review, very timely. Uh, it's been a request by the 
two schools for a 25 percent tax abatement, but I think they're kind of honest to the notion that they have to file after the tax bill is picked up. Board adjustment rule and other board adjustment and budget for technical approval. Are those just decisions? Board of adjustment? Yeah. <coughs> So do you want me to get back to Fusco and say that he needs to do an abatement? Yeah, he can't spend for the end of it. No, not until after the tax bill comes out. Right. So the letter from the DOT that we received $8,924.80 in a portion of the funds in July. But this was incorrect. Tuffin and Burroughs should not have been paid any funds at all. So the department will be issuing an invoice to reimburse the department the amount of eighty nine hundred and twenty four dollars in the next ten or fifteen days. Block grant eight payments have to be made and four payments have to be during October, June, and April. The correction of the above will address the July payment to pay the total. Yeah, I guess I'll take a look at that. Mm -hmm. Select and updates. Um, as I mentioned, I was at the CIP meeting to finalize there. Discussions. One of the things that I don't know if you're aware of is the police chief and the chief cruisers this year. And it's not the other issue was the real item that had a lot of conversations along with the transfer stations. As I said before, there's a public hearing with the Department of Environmental Services here. And I think it's Wednesday night. I'm going to hear things in the way. That's all I can remember. Uh, any things that are on it? No. Uh, I did take a ride over to Pine Mill Drive as I discussed with the road agent and saw the issue that Mr. Smith brought. See about that. I also inquired of the Department of Labor as to uh, holiday pays and policies. They responded that holiday pay is a fringe benefit and are not mandated by state law. And it's well within our purview to regulate uh, the way holiday pay is done, if at all. Uh, so there are RSAs that say if we have. Uh, Contracted with someone, or it's part of a policy we want to change it. We have to let those people know that we want to change it. Okay. Other than that, we're basically free to do what we want. Okay. And that's all I have. <clears throat> do we have any history? That I don't know. We have to look at the contracts. As to why? I think it's other people. Is there a discussion that I brought up the last time? No, I agree with the circumstances. I'd like to see the history of when it was enacted, if there's history. Yeah, I don't know if it's legal policy. It may be in the employee manual, but I'll get the county and figure out what's going on here. If there's some kind of a justifiable reason, that may be fine. Ah, okay, so that's what we will talk about it. Well, they can do something in place. There's nothing we can do about 2022. We don't even have some straight up 2023. Uh, see this is in our folder, we can do that on inventory. Thank <laughs> you.
I don't have that kind of communication there. Yeah. <clears throat> Yes, I just want to make an order of conditions, so I think we need to bring that forward when we start talking about points in the middle. And we need to figure out what's left in that reserve fund that I set up last year. Okay, yeah, the bids for the 19 mile Pier 19 traffic site that gets to crosswalk. Um, we did cancel some clarification. And the DOS hazardous mitigation payment that you need to do the 11 a.m. on 11 14. Really? Really? Okay. Fourteen. It's Monday. It's Monday. Next Monday. Afternoon, right? No, morning. Just a second. We already have two public hearings. One at nine and one at nine oh five. So is it well okay? Yeah. That's a new one. I don't know if it needs to be No, that that was what I was asking if 11 o'clock was okay, but it's probably going to be at the rate we're going. Yeah, it will be slower and slower as we age. Right, what else do we have next week for on the, on the docket? There's no budget. No, not really. I just didn't want you guys to hang around, but if that's the only time that they can all that's get together and come. They can do it? Yeah. Okay, Let's see if we can get Tyler on the corner. Get Tyler in too? Yeah, I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him at the DES meeting tomorrow night or the night after. Yeah. I'm going to go back and check and see when it is. Yeah. Well, while we're speaking of non public people, yeah? Yeah. Um, Where's the list? I don't know what to classify it as. Is it personnel? Yeah. Okay. Personnel. I think motion we will not up on this discuss personnel issue. Second. Yeah, to name yourself. Bye guy. Sorry, guy. I'll be fine. Okay, we're out of uh, non-public here. One last thing to do. This was uh, just an agreement and authorization on the health insurance that we voted on earlier. It only requires one signature. I make a motion to have the chairman sign. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And I'm sorry, what is it? This is the uh, agreement for the insurance. So it's an agree agreement between the Town of Tuft Bureau and the Health Trust. Let me just put it in the signature for now. Yep. Any other business? I have none. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. And not guilty. So are you headed back down?